Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So today we will see how to add a handy go back to the previous category button in Prices Shop and 30Bs. It's gonna be real quick, so let's just get to it. I have a category page here and what we're gonna do is add a button right here to go back to the previously visited category. It's not gonna work in other pages, it's just for handy navigation within categories. So the first file I want to edit is in my themes, default bootstrap, JS folder, it's global.js. I'll scroll down till the very end. And right here, I'm going to add a jQuery uh, ready wrapper. And the first thing I want to do is check if the current page is at category. So. Um, uh, for the ones of you who don't know what I'm doing, I'm just text expanding. So uh, basically if I write JLM, it's going to expand. I'm using this very, very handy feature in Sublime Text too. So I'm going to target the body. And if the body has class category, then I'm going to do something. So again, text expanding. So when I click on product image link, which is, uh, let me show you real quick. If I inspect this element, is the main link of the, uh, of the product here. So when I click on that, I'm going to take advantage of jQuery total storage, which is available in PrestaShop 1.6 and 30Bs. And I'm going to create a JavaScript cookie. So last visited category, category. And I'm going to assign window.location.h ref which is the current page URL and that's it basically for this page so next up I'm gonna open I'm gonna go back to my theme folder I'm gonna open product dot TPL and I could use product JS for this but I want to keep the modified files to a minimum so I'm gonna do everything in the template file so I'm gonna open a script tag and again document ready if previous category equals to total storage, total storage, last visited category. If this happens, then I'll create actually first a button here href is going to be javascript void zero it could as well be blank it doesn't really matter because uh we're gonna replace this attribute class is going to be bdn btn fault and it's going to have an id of go back right, let's just fill it in real quick i'm going to create an icon class icon dash left left and I'm gonna I'm gonna write something like ls equals go back to the last category okay so we're gonna target this button here so with the ID go back We're going to change the attribute href to previous category, effectively adding our previous URL as link for this um, anchor. And then I'm going to reset, uh, you can skip this step if you prefer, but I'm going to reset the uh, last visited category to nothing. Else, 
if there is nothing to go, nowhere to go, I'm gonna hide that button since it makes no sense for it to be there. All right, save. Let's see if I did everything correctly. I'll just hard refresh, and then click on a product. Go back to the last category. Let's go back. Yep, it works. So let's see if it works in specials since we have product list here as well. And it does it as it should. Pretty good. Okay, this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great Presta Shop and 30Bs tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.